Hey, I'm Sidecar Tommy from Beats Antique. How's it going out there? Uh, I guess we're going to talk about some gear today that we use in our live show. And um, I guess first off, I'll start out with the hub of the whole system, which is uh, Universal Audio Apollo. Uh, they were gracious enough to um, have us on their artist roster, which is really awesome. So, shout out to UA. Yeah. So basically, we we use that for the um, tricks come to the tracks coming from our MacBook Pro from Ableton, and uh, we have the way we have it set up is we have a click track at the top, and that's coming through um, a separate channel, and um, it's going, and then and then we have our whole audio section, which is like our track kind of broken up. Um, Without whatever instruments we're going to be playing on that track, we take those things out, make a mix of that, and then we launch that from Ableton. It goes through to our ears, and our ears are these uh, ultimate ears. And I got got a couple of these that are a little dirty. Excuse my dirty ears, but um, through a Sennheiser pack, wireless pack, and uh, ultimate ears is awesome. It, it sounds really great. Um, I'm actually using they're actually reference ones. And so, because so that I can also um, do mixing and stuff on the road and stuff like that. So it gives me a lot of um, a lot more options. So sounds crystal clear. Uh, I can go real loud. Yes. Um, and then uh, we also use, uh, as far as like our sound side goes, we also use uh, PK wedges, and they're really close friends of ours. And another shout out to people who trust us with their gear, and um, we trust them with their gear as well and uh, this just screams on stage it's super awesome so our monitor system we actually do we actually have a monitor engineer but we also um, I like to have control over things because a lot of times like at festivals for example I'll have a backline kit and different mics and all that stuff and it, it just I like to have control so we have um, we're running a um, the Behringer X32 uh, unit for our monitors and um, we send out split snake to the front of the house so they get it and we get it and I can control we can control our all of our mixes um, and that that actually is super helpful because like I said in the middle of the show maybe something happens with the, the click and it's like super super low in the mix in that place so I can raise it up lower down do whatever I want and it's all attached to wirelessly through uh, to the monitor engineer so that's actually, um, we fly with this rig, we, we, this is every show, we bring our own monitors so that we can really be consistent with ourselves. You know, sometimes you go to a place and you have 10 minutes to set up, well, we don't have to run our monitor check if we don't need to, because it's already saved and we just go for it and we can control it during the show, which is dope. So anybody who's doing live anything on stage, I would highly suggest looking into a monitor system, because it saves our lives. It saved our lives so many times, that's especially at festivals. We can move on to this side, which is, I use a Nord. So, um, mostly I use, that's the Wurlitzer patch, and I use, uh, I use the organ. And then, uh, and then I just use the piano sound. And then, uh, so my kit's a Tama. It's got it's an acrylic one. A little endorsement for them too, and they're awesome. Uh, shout out to Tama Drums. And um, it, you know it's a standard kit, and then I have uh, a Tama Star Classic Elite uh, snare drum, which is just beautiful. I got a 14-inch snare. I got the 12-inch uh, rack tom, uh, the 10-inch rack tom, and then I have uh, 14 to 16 floors, and then I have this really cool thing that I found um, randomly, which is a a, a marching band like a marching dr snare drum practice pad, which I actually mic up and use live. Let's 
sick little thing. I don't know, I don't know what, it's, it's got a Remo head on it with like the Kevlar stuff, but I, I don't know, um, I actually don't even know who makes it. So if you, if you uh, know who makes it, please tell me. Sidecar Tommy, tell me who makes this thing, because I want to know. But to be honest, like, I don't know, it's the standard, it's the standard configuration of the five-piece kit. I use Evans. Um, on the Toms, I use a, a see-through level 360. Um, no, I didn't get the... just has a really balanced sound and a lot of punch. And I put moon gels on the tops and bottoms so that they don't resonate too much because I got everything coming through here and through the sound system. So, you know, um, the moon gels really help, you know, contain, contain it because otherwise there's frequencies bouncing around the room all over the place. That gets a little difficult when you're you're on in ears and stuff. Symbols, I, I love Zildjian symbols. They're my favorite symbols. Hey Zildjian, hit me up. What's up? I've been use, I've been breaking your symbols for years. <laughs> These are like old 70s hi-hats that I've had in, in, in my thing since I was a little little kid. I've always used these things. Um, you know, so I've, I've tried some other like more modern ones and stuff like that, but I just love the real dark, dark kind of flavor of these. Just gives it that old school vibe. And then I have all my crashes are uh, A custom crashes. Uh, I got 17, 16, and a 19. And um, they're real bright, they're real, uh, they, 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 they bust through. Also, the best thing about these is they're very consistent. Um, I can go get a 19 inch crash, A custom. I can send somebody to go get it if, I'm, if I don't have any transportation. And it'll show up and sound pretty much exactly the way I want it. So with symbols, that's a really hard thing to do. So Zildjian has that down. And then I have this awesome A custom 20th anniversary medium thin uh, ride. It's a 21 inch. Um, a custom, it, 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 I just love them. This thing, this thing is like loud. It cuts through, but it also has sort of an old school vibe. I do a lot of uh, crash ride stuff too and it's super, super washy at times when I want to do that and it's very defined as well. Six, I use Vic Firth, uh, American Classic 5A. Hey Vic Firth, what's up? <laughs> Sidecar Tommy, nice to see you. Love these things, break them all the time. I'm buying bricks of sticks like every week, so. I just, well, I love the Rock and Sock Throne. I just got this one and, um, because my other one busted, so. Hey, Rock and Sock, what's up? <laughs> um, and then I, I actually uh, bring my my Neumann. They're the Neumann KM184, and um, they sound really nice. I love them, so I, I bring them kind of everywhere. And then um, we use Sennheisers on the uh, on the toms and the snare. Pretty much everything else has Sennheisers on it, as far as toms and snare. The reason why I do two kicks on two two mics on the kick is because. One of them I EQ for the wedge and my ears, and then the other one I EQ for the sub, and then it also gives our front of house guy a little bit of options to sort of blend and, and do different things so that, depending on a room and the stage size and where the subs are and stuff, it really just, it really just makes it, um, you know, gives you as much options as possible. The pedals that I have are the Tama Iron Cobra double kick pedal. And then all the all the hardware is, uh, you know, Tama standard issue, uh, the best I could get. Some of it came with the kit. Some of it came with my other kit that I have from them. The the, the one I used to tour with is the Tama Star Classic, uh, being a Birch kit. And so, the, the, what I really wanted to do with this show is I wanted the acrylic drums because they have more focused uh, resonance and tones. Or again, like. When you put everything in a, in a sound system, you got all these frequencies jumping around. Wood tends to change a lot with the temperature and stuff like that. So I feel that these are really punchy and, and really have a nice flow to them. You should make this a Star Classic kit with all the Star Classic hardware because this hardware is amazing. The Star Classic hardware is absolutely amazing. Never have any problems. This is more of a a lower end kit compared to the snare drum or something, but they sound amazing. And uh, so actually the, what that means is like, if you've got this at home, it's super, it, it's gonna sound awesome and it's actually really affordable, you know? So for the half the price, you can get one of these kits and it's gonna sound great and it's gonna look great.
I love the way it looks on stage. It just you can see through everything and kind of get a get an idea of what's going on behind it. You know, it's cool.